And we're at IBC 2023 and we're at the Juin booth and we're looking at the new Crane 4 heavyweight gimbal. Lensvid coverage of IBC 2023 is brought to you by Ulanzi Video Accessories, Small Rig, Small Rig Big Dreams, Jiyun Make It Real, and Godox Embrace Creative Possibilities. Hello, Fran. Nice to meet you. You have something uh, fairly new here. This is yes. the Crane 4. Uh, what can you tell us about it and how is it different than the previous generation of the Crane uh, gimbals that you had? Yeah, actually, it's our newest flagship gimbal for the professional cinema cameras and heavy DSLR cameras. Well, the major difference between this model compared to our uh, older predecessor, the Vivo 3S, uh, this one comes with a greater weight payload. Also, it uh, means a wider range for, the ba for balancing your cameras and all the setups. Well, this one, uh, the, the weight capacity comes uh, to around 14 pounds, but also depending on the size of your lens. Yeah, this the one, fr front, uh, yes. more front heavy lenses. Yes, this one can even hold the uh, Blackmagic 60 Pro or even a Sony FX6. So it's a very uh, wide range for, for all the indie filmmakers and travel filmmakers who want to set up their games with heavier setups. For okay. well, this one, if we uh, come to the detailed uh, differences on different functions, this one comes with a, a wrist support and a sling handle, so you can always use the gimbal with your two hands or put it in a low angle shot. So it's an effortless experience for the, uh, all levels of filmmakers. Well, it also comes with a balance indicator, which is a new innovative features we just added to this model. Uh, you can see this uh, ring light, the, the, the lights turning white means this, uh, this axis is perfectly balanced. If this light's turning red, means you need to further balance all the axes. So it's very useful for some beginners using the gimbals. It tells you which direction you need to... Uh... Yes, you can see we have all the uh, ring lights on all the motors. Oh, so, so turning red means every you axis you have this? Oh, this yeah, is very yeah. useful. Yeah. And this is only on this, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's the first it's one that features. you have this. Yes. Very interesting. This fail light has the highest power of all our gimbal light. It's a 10 watts built-in fail light. So you can turn on the lights. We also have a mini softbox included. So you can adjust the brightness and the color temperature using the dials. Nice. What do you think of the lights? All the way oh, that's, that's to, bright. Yeah, yeah, to uh, 2700 Kelvin to 6500 Kelvin. Uh, I see that you have two USB connections in here. Can you explain what they, yes. they are used for? Yeah, for this gimbal, you can mount two uh, focus motors on the zoom ring and focus ring. So you can adjust either the zoom or the focus uh, just as a button. For this gimbal, you can quickly uh, detach it and quickly invert it. Yeah. Okay. So it's so, uh, taking you around 30 seconds to finish all this balancing and vertical to horizontal switch. Okay, that's cool. Uh, you have, I think, a touch screen on this uh, Yeah, for device? sure. For the Vivo 3 as you also have a screen, but that, for that screen, you have to use the physical button to uh, switch between different options. But for the Green 4, you have a, a very intuitive touch screen to quickly switch between different functions, settings, yeah, just at the fingertips. That, that's very, very nice. Very intuitive. We are making uh, the professional industry uh, closer to all filmmakers. We want to make all our gimbals uh, portable, lightweight, easier to use, so we can uh, uh, encourage uh, more content, cre content creators to step into the filmmaking industry by using these uh, very uh, user-friendly and portable devices. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you, and uh, be sure to watch the next video on landsvid.com from IBC.